Hey guys, welcome back. I got about an hour to kill. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit some thrift stores while I'm waiting and see what I can find. I'm mostly looking for CDs, records, cassettes. The cassettes are iffy. Most of them are country. Records are pretty beat up sometimes. So it's pretty rare I get records from the thrift stores anymore. For someone just starting out collecting records though, thrift store was the first place I ever looked. And then I got into really collecting CDs through thrift stores because they always have pretty good CDs that people are just giving away because you know they don't listen anymore maybe their kids moved out they don't need them anymore uh, same with cassettes we'll see what we can find in here and just see if we got any good finds I'll see you guys in a minute first place I went to was the Dakota Boys Ranch as you can see there's mostly country Amy Grant uh, Andy Williams Kenny G so now I'm over by the CDs, which is like right next, right next to them. Well, Cheryl Crow, maybe. Um, I didn't know who this was. Just random like church music that I've never heard of, so I just kind of skipped by. If you see any CDs that you think I should check that I missed, I don't know if I'm going too fast or not. Let me know in the comments. Um, so I just keep searching. And like this one looked interesting, but it's like I have no idea who they are. And it looked like it was a club edition, so I don't like the club edition CDs. You know, the buy 10 CDs for a penny club. Oh, what's this? Tony, Tony, Tone, Knee? You know, back in my high school days, I was in a band. You may have heard of them called Tony, 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 Tony. We broke up over creative differences. Each Tony had an exclamation point after their name, and I thought my name should have a question mark. So it will be Tony, 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 Tony. In hindsight, it was not my best decision. So after I'm done looking at the cassettes and CDs, I look at the DVDs for any music DVDs, music concerts, uh, you know, sometimes they put all the videos on a DVD or something like that. You swag swag like Caillou. I'm good, nigga. How you go way back like Caillou? So, if I'm not looking for music DVDs, I'll look for DVDs that I have a list of that I can't seem to either watch on streaming sites or you know find anywhere online. Go over to the VHS is next, and I do the same thing. I look for the music VHS's. You know, he's like a comedian or something. Um, I don't normally find a lot of music VHS's, but I have gotten lucky. Like, here's a Shania Twain one. I don't really like Shania Twain, so I didn't buy that. <laughs> um, if you stay till the end of the video, I show what I bought at, uh, all these stores I went to. Um, but so far there's nothing. There's mostly just Disney movies when you're looking through these. Titanic is always there. Look, at there's three Titanics there. I move my way over to the records, which, as I said before, they're not the greatest. Sometimes you get lucky and find just something that's, um, you know, okay, that if you clean it up a bit, it'll probably be alright. And then, you know, they, of course, they jam-pack them in here. Normally, I'll take a chunk of them out and then sort through them, but it was, you know, this was my first time filming, like, while I'm thrifting, so using one hand is a little difficult. Maybe I'll have to get, like, a a GoPro. This, the Revere's album, I think, that, right? Oh, the, the Raiders, sorry. I was thinking of Paul Revere and the Raiders. Normally I'll take the record out and make sure there's not any major scratches or damages on it. Doesn't really look like it. A couple surface scratches, but it'll still play, you know, once you clean it up. Dusty, but clean it, it'll be all right. Now off to the second location, Savers. So I go right to the CDs and the cassettes right away. And uh, the Phil Collins one, I thought about getting, but I'm pretty sure I had that already. And I'm sorry for all the shakiness. There's, I'm just not used to holding a camera. The Eagles, which was I thought was okay. Yeah, and of course, nothing's in the shot, so. You suck, you jackass. Nothing really that interests me. There's Lou Bega, which was my first cassette I ever got when I was a kid. Mumbo number five. Christmas, Christmas, more Christmas. American Eagle, which is just a, a compilation kind of CD. Just make sure it's nothing that I want. 
fun, which I already have this CD. So I put it right back because I knew I had that one. CD, 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 CD. No, 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 no. Let's go, let's go. Uh, oh, what's this? Five Seconds of Summer. Like, I don't know if that's all of their CDs or what, but I don't like, I don't listen to them, so I didn't get those because I wasn't sure what they were. As I said before, I'm looking for music DVDs. And as I'm doing this, this guy, he walks up right next to me, like, not even a foot away from me, blaring a podcast. So then, eventually you're going to see, like, my hand cover my phone. Um, and it's just because I'm, like, uncomfortable with this guy just standing over my shoulder, breathing in my ear, pretty much. And it's like, can you back up? And he just continues to stand there, listening to this podcast not on like headphones or anything. Oh, Jewel live. And of course I can't get it in there. Oh yeah, right there. Okay, he just won't leave. And so I just continue to look because it's like, I'm here first, maybe you can walk away for a minute. What's that? Toby Keith? See, so there's a bunch of like country ones I find, but I don't really want those. I think that was a five second of summer one. And so now I'm at the bottom here. And see that guy, there's that guy's freaking finger man and he's just crouched down right beside me it's like can you go away there <laughs> he's like leave me alone and so anyway and then i just pop up in a second and walk away because he just scoots closer to me i'm like okay i guess i'm done looking here bye so now i'm at the vhs's and uh i thought this was a funny one marriage bonding and binding <laughs> the box set you know in case anyone needs that hit me up and i'll grab that for you uh, Drumline, good movie. Uh, no music VHS's yet. Um, I thought this one looked interesting. Didn't know what, what, what it was, so I pushed it back. So far, nothing good over here. Empire Strikes Back, Turn of the Jedi, Howard Stern. So I'll look at the books just to see if there's any, um, you know, music related books. I really will collect anything music related. So. I will go, you know, I'll even go look at like the bandanas. This Bob Dylan book looked really cool, but it was like warped and bent. And it looked like it had been like maybe water damaged somehow. So I end up not getting that. And so I go look for like jewel cases. And so there's like some blank CDs. I don't need blank CDs. I haven't burnt a blank CD probably a couple years now. But I'm just looking for CD cases because they seem harder and harder to find. So I go looking down each aisle, and I'm like, hmm, Tupperware, nope. And back up out of there, oh, what? Oh, and then I thought these were CD cases, and they were not, they were tiles. <laughs> I go to the front of the store where they have records, and I see this LL Cool J. Oh my God. And you can hear how quietly excited I get when I find that. You don't really find that around Fargo normally. Um, so I just keep looking through the records. I pick out the ones I think that I would like that are in good shape, good condition. And I don't ever buy any of this stuff at thrift stores to sell online because I just, I don't have the time or the patience to do any of that. So everything I find is just for my own collection. And I, you know, get home. It's my hobby. I clean them. I put them in my record room, I sort through all my records. It's just fun for me. Thanks for watching, now back to me. I'm at home now, so I'll show you what I got at the thrift stores. I only went to the two. That's kind of my routine. If I have an hour to kill, I'll go to those two. Those are my main thrift stores I like to go to. So the first thing I bought was uh, this Howard Stern Private Parts book. I bought it because my dad really likes Howard Stern, but I'll probably keep this one and um, Read it first before I give it to him. Next one, George Winston, December. To be honest, I don't really know this artist, but I really like the cover. And this is kind of like, I don't know, you know, ra December's raised piano solo. So I think it's just gonna be like relaxing piano music. Next is Jethro Tull. Um, this one's not in the best shape. The spine's pretty beat up. But the record, the record didn't look too bad. After I give it a cleaning, should be all right to go. Couple uh, 
surface scratches, but no, nothing too big. Jefferson Starship. This one also has the inner sleeve, which isn't always with the record. I don't have this one, so I figured I'd get it. The record's in pretty good condition as well. Normally I'll just get CDs at Savers um, and the other thrift stores. I don't normally find any records there, but today I got lucky, so. Ario Speedwagon. This cover's in really good shape. Couple, a couple scuffs here and there, but pretty good nonetheless. Uh, also has the inner sleeve. Record's in good condition. The Raiders. I don't really know this band that much either. Um, I know like Paul Revere and the Raiders. I believe this is the same group, same, you know, same people. But again, the cover and spine and everything looked really good on this. You know, I look it up when I'm in the store sometimes just to see if I would be into listening to it. And last but not least, living in North Dakota, you never find like rap albums. Everyone is basically country or rock. Mostly rock is what I'll try to pick up if I actually pick up a you know, record from a thrift store or whatnot. But, but I found this one today at Savers. LL Cool J Radio. It's got the inner sleeve, it's, it's ripped, but I'll clean it and put it in its own new sleeve. Well, my light fell. The record itself is it is kind of dirty, and uh, if this was any other record, I probably would have left it alone. But being that it was a hip hop record, I felt I had to get it either way. I don't have like the repress of this or anything. So it still has the Mother's Record Store uh, price tag on it. I love getting those ones. That just means Mother's Records is a local record store in Moorhead, which is right next to Fargo. They don't use these price tags anymore, so every time I find one, doesn't even matter if I don't like the artist, I always buy the I always buy the records. So So those are all my finds I had today. So if you liked watching me pick through the records and the CDs and cassettes, uh, just give me a like. I really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to make videos more often, and I hope I get better each time with every video. Thanks again for watching. Cool, 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 c